What's up, winners? On this channel, we learn to see through manipulation, have fun doing it. Thank you, fan from India. That's their alias. They like to keep private for sending this to me. And thank you guys for sending me these. Sorry, I've not been responding. I have limited internet access. I'm traveling and I'm doing it the cheapest way, which includes boats and limited internet access. So soon I'll have better internet. But let's get right into this. Aren't you busy? Very, very busy. Um, so is there a life for... Just really quickly, sorry, like so quick, you see her expression and aren't you busy? That sounded already aggressive to me from the start, like almost beyond passive aggressive. It doesn't involve like if he goes to essentially about and I certainly hope so. <laughs> As an actress, I certainly hope so, but I think also this sort of like just professionally you look at these and these people and like what I love about Rachel is that she is so committed to her career as well and that you know we see her family we see how much support she has two really quick things so megan's giving me like the stereotypical quintessential like i'm too good for you vibe right when they're like trying to make rich people look bad in movies uh you know like oh, blah, 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 you know um she's acting just like that funny also the man who just popped in to our right megan's left she has an interview with him where she seems really off, really mad. I thought this was going to be it when I first saw it, but it's another one. So that was a heck of a day for Megan. Side of her relationship with Mike, and so for me, I find that really high value for her to maintain that. You know? She's prepared for the out for the possible outcome of him going. I think she has to be right. And, and, and with that said, no matter how much that, you compare yourself, like realistically, we're never going to get out of it. When that moment actually happens, what is like? What guys, is, guys, hold on. This gives so much context. I don't know if this happened before or after exactly, but that man, he looks really nervous. And I'm wondering if this was before the interview with him. I have a video of that interview. Maybe I'll have to revisit it. And she was bullying him. He was nervous. It was awful. So maybe he's watching this like, holy moly, I need to stay away from this person. But for me, it's just like she seems like clearly has such a huge ego. And that's the kind of person you honestly don't want to see succeed. Normally, I like to see people succeed, but where they're like, I'm the best. I deserve everything. And then as soon as they get a little success, they treat everyone like dirt. Right. She's like, I'm on suits. I have three minutes of screen time, you know, in most of the bedroom last month. Uh, why do you think you're worthy of talking to me? What is, like, what is that? So what is she, what is her role in the def in building the defense with Harvey? And well, she's really become sort of Harvey's right-hand man this season, which has been really great to be a part of. And I think, um, you know, working with Gabriel is fantastic. <gasps> this is so huge. Look at the difference. Look at Megan's co-star, more of a legitimate star, how she's treating this man who is nervous versus how Megan does. She gives him a warm hug, sees he's nervous, makes him comfortable, and Megan's just like giving off demon vibes. Y you'll see it. Uh, I'll see if I could link to that video or maybe I'll just revisit it. It's crazy the way she treats him. But in terms of Rachel's role, she's really sort of become the mic to Harvey, right? Um, and I think for me, what I love about that is just building her career even more. And I, I love that she has that, especially as a role model for young women. And what does she do? How? <laughs> Look at that expression. Like, again, these things are not accidental. For me, she goes from angry arrogant to boring and back between the three. Take care.